We have our stuff and now it's time to move this table into that area and we can start somehow. Today, the week is not over, many things uh, needs to be done. I'm filming also this part actually, I mean not this coming up part, the part previous, you know. It's about creating this visual thing before you dive into that material. So it's actually the part to get uh, good commissions as well, the idea to create, you know, what we gonna create? Damn this English. So what I'm going up to? I saw so many people just um, borrow, borrow things from the Google Images and then going to directly doing it as a mosaic, as a stencil. It's okay when the client said, "Hey, you're gonna do this. You have to do that." But if you have, if you have an opportunity to create something before you dive into the material, so it's a nice practice. It's a nice practice to, you know, to give a push to your brain about what we can create different. So what do I create different for today? I can't call it different actually, because uh, it's sixty percent based off the client. So you can't play around that much. That's why I said. We gonna use another way in this design, uh, which is from B to A, from point B to A. You normally move from point A to B. It's like designing, writing everything, like uh, take notes, how you're gonna do it, and the, the full definition of your work. What I do today is from B to A, kind of. I just have the main idea, I, ha I have the shape, of that school and of the Harley Davidson sure uh, I can't make my, my changes on that Harley Davidson it's already a masterpiece so there's nothing to play around with that stuff but about that school I, I have to show school you know what I mean the bone actually of your head this is what I mean with school because YouTube is translating it it's not a, it's as it's kind of shula it's not a school where your kids is going it's just the skull, your bone head. I will try to play around with that cardboard a little because I want to make it on a cardboard. I really don't know if we're going to do it with spray. I have some painting left, some paint, white and red and black left from the concert hall. I have a lot of spray paint as well. So I have actually no idea. I know what it will be. No, I don't know how it will look like, but I know the shape. It's a school because the client is uh, want to see a school. Stop talking and do our shit right now. You know, it's actually a good thing to have lights on both facades of that building, but it's not good for the camera. It's trying to catch the light from there and catch that light from the backside. So, um, if you know what I mean, here's our stuff. Let's check it out. I'm gonna start with the school because I can play it around with that thing a little bit. That's cool. And a couple of minutes ago, I had a message from YouTube from we have a new art uh, art people. We have a new art people. Uh huh. Okay. So if you know what I mean, we have something new. His name is. Should I say his name? I don't have any permission to announce his name. So he's from I guess from Australia which is cool, he's making mosaics as he told me. Okay, that's the Harley Davidson. And that's a nice piece. And so, this is our school where our kids going to learn some... Of course not. It's your, your bone, you know? And, um... He looks like, you know, like, you know, hell. And that hell is for the hell. That O is for the hell. So, um, okay, that's the holiday. So I'm gonna definitely make a black background color. I'm gonna paint on how we're gonna do that. Oh my god, that's a lot of detail here. <laughs> that's, oh, that's wonderful. A lot of work to cut uh, Bristol cardboards. And um, that's a lot of detail. That's ridiculous. But we're gonna manage it somehow. This is a Harley Davidson made in 
1928. It looks uh, amazing. It's nice. Also a number here. I don't know what this is for. I guess the drawing with some numbers. It said figure one. Here, figure one. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess the first thing I have to do is build my canvas by using this cardboard that I I've got from the neighbors. Um, it's actually garbage, but why to call it garbage? Canon is a great stuff. Um, okay, just a bit of blah blah more. If you watched my very very earlier vlogs, I started with iPhone and then I, I jumped to Nikon, where I was struggling so much. And this Canon is just a cheap one, a EOS, Canon EOS. And look at now, focusing very easily. That's cool. And there is this zzz, zzz, zzz sound. No, you don't have that in here. That's um. So here is our big boy. It looks funny and perfect. So as you can see, we have how many colors we have in here? We have the black. One and two pieces and tones. Various, various, variation, variation. We have this dark gray, we have black, and we have this gray, which is a light gray. And oh, we have a lot of gray in here. I don't know, we can make it maybe with a regular paint and not with spray paint. And um, yeah, I like these letters by the way. Cowboys, come a bit closer. Is that thing too high? So I will have this cardboard not directly glued to one piece. I want to have some like layers, one here and one there, like in that piece over there. I want to have a look like this. Like, you know, like this is glued on that one, that one is glued on that one, that is glued on that one, just, you know, no rules. It's just how it comes. I don't may I don't know. Maybe this is um, pushing me to work that way because this is a kind of a mosaic. I, I don't mean the dots. I mean even this thing here, putting things together to have to have one piece is like almost a mosaic. See, this has this metal stuff in the corners at the edge. You see that? I'm gonna leave this. This looks already so, which is kind of an extra um, element on our work. So that's cool. Needs to a bit of free space at the sides. which is uh, great. Oh, 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 okay. I tell you what, oh, we are focused, cool. I tell you what, what we can do, you know, this shape of the bone, we can try to reduce, yes, this is what I'm talking about. Oh yes, this is what I'm definitely what I'm talking about. See this? So what we can do to have something creative in a technical way. No, in technical way. Um, we can just um, hold on. Oh man, this is such an um, interesting um, part when you try to create okay this is what I'm talking about now just this uh, face shape like this and the rest can we stay can we stay normal it could be interesting I need to clean up here a little bit hold on oh, okay that's perfect you don't need this down now we can glue it on we're gonna glue it together by using water based adhesive. I'm gonna check this once again. Okay, that's perfect. It's so simple, and if you know what I mean, 
so easy. And this is what I love. This is what I'm doing, this cowboy thing. I don't have to think about dimensions, I don't care about, you know, it's just about having a nice piece. We're gonna put a little in here as well. So I just put these guys here on the cardboard to, to produce a bit of a pressure on that thing. So yeah, just another studio life. Um, I have the bottles here to build up some pressure. That thing is like try to uh, dry, drying, you know, if you know what I mean. Some uh, adhesive here came out from here, from there, and like you see. Okay, this, not, this guy needs to be uh, dry, then we can start to work with him. The school is here, looks almost perfect and we will see what will come out. So we, I had a, a nicely and lowly asked question, uh, I guess yesterday, on a video that I released 8 April 2016. It's almost two years ago. That's, is this a joke? Is it one year or two years? It's almost two years ago. And she's asking, Aline is asking, Hello, so, uh, thanks for showing your work. Why don't you use gloves to touch it? The grout I use is supposed to be toxic, not yours. Uh, of course it's toxic. It is uh, the best idea. I definitely recommend you to use uh, gloves. So sure, this is how your finger, fingers looks when you don't use uh, gloves. It's like, I, uh, for example, here, I actually feel nothing, um, lose some, I don't know what it is. So it's good to use uh, gloves always. I'm just too in hairy always, you know. I'm, I'm so excited that I always used to, I forgot to use gloves during um, grouting and gluing and everything. Uh, especially grouting material has some cement inside which makes it actually toxic. You know, it's not a good idea to touch cement without any gloves. And then also what you have to use is a mask when you are grouting. You know, the dust of that cement is very toxic and dangerous. Uh, I really don't know how my uh, stuff here, you know, labors are looks like. Because of the spray and the, this grouting part you really have to use a mask and stuff. I actually want to finish the vlog, it will be too too long um, but I will continue to work and I will also film an art journey so it needs to come out daily.